So Google just dropped Nano Banana Pro and it's actually insane. Let's get into it. All right, so Nano Banana Pro, also known as Gemini 3 Pro Image, is Google's new state-of-the-art image model available in the Gemini app and rolling out now in Google AI Studio. This model is exceptional at text generation within images, one of the hardest things for an image model to get right. As you can see here from this example, not only does it generate a consistent storyboard for the scene, but it also labels everything perfectly, in a natural way even. Here's a more complex one. The prompt is, create an image showing the phrase, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, made out of a wood chucked by a woodchuck. And, well, it nailed it. What sets this model apart even further though, is its ability to draw on real world knowledge, powered by Gemini's deep reasoning and search capabilities. This allows it to generate infographics that are actually accurate. Pair that with its incredible text rendering, and you get infographics that are both useful and legit high quality. Like for example, this chai tea recipe infographic. It's visually clean, well structured, and the ingredients are completely correct. I mean, there's basically nothing wrong with this. It's kind of wild. You can also use Nano Banana Pro to translate text inside images seamlessly. Super helpful for brands trying to expand into different countries. And it's also great at turning your scribbles, rough drafts, or messy notes into polished logos and clean graphic designs, like this Wave logo here, that it even created a poster ad for. Or take this paper car example. They asked it to combine the colors and texture from the uploaded image with the sketch. And it didn't just follow the instructions super well, it matched the style almost perfectly. But okay, this is all design work and text rendering. How good is it at generating the real world though? Well, if we scroll down here, you'll see this section called Studio Quality Control. This basically means you can exercise fine grain control over every aspect of the image, changing the angle, the focus, the shot type instantly. In this example, they ask it to shift the focus from the girl's face to the crowd behind her. And keep in mind, the model doesn't know what those blurred faces in the original photo even look like. It's literally reconstructing them from scratch and doing it really well. This is pretty insane. Here's a similar one, shifting the focus from the man's face down to his hand. And honestly, this feels like a complete game changer for photographers and maybe even content creators. There are so many times where a shot is almost perfect, but the blur is just off or the angle is just a little weird. If you can drop it into a model like Nana Banana Pro, instantly clean it up, refocus it, or adjust the perspective while still keeping the essence of the original photo intact, then again, that feels like a massive shift, especially at this level of quality. Now, they even show that you can also change up the color and lighting completely seamlessly. This isn't a brand new concept, but when you compare these results to previous models, this is easily some of the best we've ever seen. The quality and detail is just unreal. You can also upscale images all the way up to 4K resolution, giving you insanely crisp outputs like this close-up of a spider. I could see this literally being in a National Geographic magazine. You can also switch the aspect ratio of your image on the fly, and it instantly compresses or expands the scene to match the new parameters. And here's where it gets wild. The character consistency is next level. Google claims you can maintain the identity of up to five characters, so multi-character consistency, and the fidelity of up to 14 objects, all within a single workflow. Here you've got 14 fluffy characters squeezed together on a sofa watching TV. If you look at the input images one by one, you'll see that it got literally every one of them perfect. So again, Gemini 3 Pro Image, or Nano Banana I should say, is truly next level. It's state of the art in text rendering, it's state of the art in image generation and image editing, it has world knowledge powered by Gemini Search, so you can generate accurate diagrams and infographics. It supports up to 4K resolution, and it supports multiple languages. I think the biggest leap though with this model is really its text rendering capabilities. I mean, as we saw, the infographics it could generate are just insane, and the benchmark scores actually back it up. So yeah, that's Nano Banana Pro. It's available right now in the Gemini app, and it's rolling out in Google AI Studio as we speak.
And Google actually already posted some standout examples from the community. So let's take a look. Here's a simple infographic of the prefrontal cortex functions. I can't confirm whether these arrows are pointing exactly where they're supposed to, but I'm assuming they are because Google chose to repost it. Either way though, visually, it's super clean. Next, we have some science stuff up on a whiteboard. Pressure denaturation, whatever that means. Again, I obviously have no clue if this stuff is accurate, but the layout and handwriting style looks incredibly natural. It genuinely feels like a real whiteboard. Here's a menu generated by Nano Banana Pro. This one's super impressive. The food images match the labels perfectly, and it even added a social handle and website at the bottom. This looks like something an actual restaurant might use. And finally, Ethan Mullick asked it to generate a flowchart explaining how to toast bread, but he wanted it to be as over-the-top, wacky, and unnecessarily complicated as possible. And this is what it came up with. I highly recommend you pause the video and actually go through this flowchart. It's quite the journey. So with all these insanely realistic generations floating around online, and with only more of them on the way, there's one big question that still remains unanswered. How do you actually tell if an image was made by AI? Well, Google dropped something for that too. Inside the Gemini app, you can now upload any image and literally just ask, was this generated by Google AI? And thanks to Google's Synth ID technology, it can now tell you. Synth ID is basically an invisible digital watermark that Google bakes into every AI generated image at the pixel level. You can't see it, you can't remove it by cropping or resizing, but the model can detect it. And this is only the beginning. Google says they're expanding this same verification method to audio and video next. They're also keeping a visible watermark, the little Gemini sparkle, on images generated by the free tier and the Google AI Pro tier, just so it's extra obvious when something is AI made. But if you're a Google AI Ultra subscriber, or if you're generating through AI Studio, the visible watermark gets removed so you can use the images professionally, but the invisible synth ID watermark stays baked in. So it's basically an invisible watermark that only the AI can detect. We'll see how this plays out and we'll see if other players start jumping in. But between the image quality, the text accuracy, the editing tools, the multi-character consistency, and now the built-in authentication, Nano Banana Pro is really a massive upgrade for Google, and honestly, for the entire AI space in general. I mean, this is a major leap that'll probably get overshadowed by the Gemini 3 release. I'm talking about the model itself. This is one of those updates that quietly changes everything behind the scenes. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about Nano Banana Pro. Have you tested it? Is it everything it's cracked up to be? And what do you think the future implications of this are? Because again, this seems like an absolute game changer. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please feel free to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, I'll be catching you guys in the next one.